Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. The honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching the truth and in sincerity. In this lesson will be entitled The Windy City. Lord, will you are edified? The Windy City represents the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. 2 Maccabees 5 and 19, nevertheless, the Most High did not choose the people for the place sake, but the place for the people's sake. All right. The scripture alone proves that we are a people before we are a place. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, referring to an angel, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All right. Second precept continues to prove that we are a people before we are a place and what the city is what a representation all right for the nation of israel beginning with the elected individuals all right revelation 21 and 1 and i saw a new heaven and a new earth and this is a representation for the kingdom of heaven beginning with the elect for the first heaven and the first earth referring to what the blessing of Edom the blessing of Esau were passed away meaning this rulership or their rulership has been destroyed and there was no more sea and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High, out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people and the Most High Himself shall be with them and be their power. All right. Third precept continues to prove that we are a people before we are a place. All right. And most importantly, the city is a representation of the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. And I, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven. Jump down to verse 3. Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them. All right? So, what makes the city windy? Hence, the Holy Spirit. And let's prove that. Ezekiel 37 and verse 9. Then, then, then said he unto me, that he is referring to an angel, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord power. Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the slain, that they may live. The slain, referring to the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. Breath is what? Hence, the Holy Spirit. All right? And the Holy Spirit is also known as power, breath, wind. Okay? And let's prove that. According to the Hebrew 
O Breath. Strong's H7307. Rawaka. Rawaka. All right. Outline of biblical usage. One. When. Breath, mind, spirit. When you jump down to 1B, wind. Okay? Wind is what? It's talking about or referring to the Holy Spirit. Okay? The Windy City is talking about the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. Elected men that has been blessed to receive the Holy Spirit, to prophesy, to fulfill all spiritual obligations of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 24. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She pass and go through all things by reason of her pureness. For she is the breath or wind of the power of the Most High and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore can no defiled thing fall into her. Verse 26. For she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of the Most High, and the image of his goodness. Verse 27. And being but one, she can do all things, and remaining in herself, she make all things new, and in all ages entering into holy souls, she make them friends of the Most High and prophets, hence the windy city. Holy men of the nation of Israel that has received the Holy Spirit. Last precept. Acts 2 and 1, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues, like as a fire, and it set upon each of them. <sighs> Verse 4, And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. All right? More proof that the nation of Israel beginning with the elect man okay is what symbolic for a city and what makes the city windy is the gift of the Holy Spirit Lord will you edify Shalom